Indianapolis right now on the verge for a record year for homicides for our city. Already 150 homicide cases in 2017, matching the record number set just last year. Rich Nye is live downtown this morning with one strategy for making neighborhoods safer. Good morning, Rich. Good morning, Alyssa. Sometimes we look at that homicide tally as if it's some kind of scoreboard, and we forget that we're talking about 150 lives in Indianapolis ended by violence. And that 150th homicide has given Republicans an opportunity to criticize the mayor's record on public safety. Now, the mayor this month called for more police and more on foot patrol. He wants a focus on reducing gun violence, especially committed by felons illegally possessing guns. And he wants to improve neighborhood partnerships. And Police Chief Brian Roach wants that too. We definitely miss the uh, community part of, uh, of policing. Um, we're not engaging in the right way, I, I think I would say. Um, a lot of the things that we do encourages relationships between police and the community, but I don't know that it does anything about violence. And Reverend Charles Harrison leads the 10-point coalition, coalition, that is, that walks and works in the neighborhoods. And he tweeted Monday that we are putting too much of a burden on police departments to fix the urban gun violence epidemic when they are not designed to address the social ills in our society that is leading to all this senseless violence. As a nation, we must address this urban gun violence epidemic. Now, in Indianapolis, the east side is too often the location for that gun violence. And today, the 10-point coalition will announce an expansion to the area of 40, 42nd Street and Post Road. And that will be funded by a grant from the Indiana Attorney General. Just one step to be taken in 2018 to haps, perhaps, Alyssa and Anne Marie, make sure we don't reach this number of 115, 150, that is, in 2018. Hmm.